All right, this video is about how to interpret the protein gel. You've labeled the protein gel, now you want to talk about it in your lab report. And we, all, we are going to be going over this in lab, but I thought it might be useful to have a document that you can refer back to. And so remember that a protein gel separates a mixture of proteins based on size. And so what we have, each band, see each little stripe is, is a band, and it represents a lot of proteins of the same molecular weight. And thin bands like here, right, these are little narrow bands here, very faint bands, right, there aren't many copies of that protein. And then abundant bands like, whoa, there's a really abundant band here in the heart, and this is another really abundant band, and down here we have some abundant band. Right? Those are uh, lots and lots and lots of copies. So this is a, a protein that there's a lot of in the homogenate. Now, it is possible that some of these bands are not just one kind of protein, that there's more than one protein, but we basically operate on the assumption that each band is a unique kind of protein. I also want to point out that not all the protein in the homogenate, that is not all the protein in the organ, is represented on this gel. Only the ones that are fairly abundant to begin with. If there's only, I don't know, 30 or 40 copies of a protein, say, our stain is not going to be able to detect that. It's not sensitive enough. So when you're comparing the three homogenates to each other, what you want to do is to talk about, first of all, what's the diversity in size range? And so we can see the diversity. This is the kidney homogenate on this gel. And so we can see so the largest proteins are at the top. And so the, lar the kidney clearly has a lot of really large proteins, right? And then uh, and the liver doesn't have as many, and the heart doesn't have as many uh, large proteins. But the heart has some really abundant proteins. As a matter of fact, the total diversity of proteins seems to be sort of less in the heart than in here. There are so many proteins here in the, both the liver, there's a lot of proteins here in this molecular weight, sort of very dark. There's a lot of proteins here and here that it sort of becomes sort of a solid gray because there's just sort of the bands sort of run into each other. Uh, I also want to make a point what's happening here? How come there's a lot of protein here and there's not a lot of protein here? Well, this is just an issue with loading the gel, frankly. So if this is one of your lanes here, you know, you just had a little whatever, you didn't get all the sample in the lane. I mean, everybody loaded their uh, gel, their gel lane pretty well. Um, but some of you had sort of more of an air bubble or not, or you just didn't get the whole seven microliters up in your tube. Don't worry about it. You can, they're all the same, so you just can talk about your homogenate. You don't need to talk about your lane in particular. You just want to talk about the homogenate. And then slight variations, like in this particular lane. For some reason, I'm not really sure what's going on here in this lane, you don't really see any proteins at all, and yet you see more proteins down here, and this seems to be more abundant. There is the possibility of sampling issues, right, because this now represents just five microliters. So the five microliters that one person took out of their homogenate and another person took out of their homogenate could vary. That is, one protein might be more or less abundant. Uh, in a given homogenate, although it looks pretty consistent overall uh, from lane to lane. And the other thing you want to do is contrast the overall protein concentration, which we measured with the Bradford assay, with the diversity that you see. Generally speaking, more protein means more different kinds of functions and fewer proteins correlate with fewer kinds of functions. And of course, a heart, while heart has an important function, it doesn't have a big diversity of function in the same way certainly that liver does. Liver has a lot of functions, of course, and kidney as well. Okay, so we'll, if you have any other questions, we'll be talking about this in lab as well.